Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the volume coefficient expansion oh, on a isobaric constant line. And let me stop and start over again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I'm getting tired. All right, Ron. Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take another look at the coefficient of volume expansion. In this case, we're going to do it graphically. Starting with the volume versus temperature graph, notice that at constant pressure, when the temperature increases, the volume increases. So at different states, we'll have different volumes. And also look at the slope of that line. That slope is represented by the change in the volume with respect to the temperature keeping the pressure constant. And so this then represents the coefficient of volume expansion. And as we saw in previous videos, if we use the ideal gas equation, then we can reduce that to 1 over T for an ideal gas. What does it look like for copper? Copper will be solid at room temperature. So if we take 20 degrees centigrade, which is 293 Kelvin, what does the coefficient of volume expansion look like? Well, it turns out that at that temperature, it's 5.1 times 10 to the minus 5 per Kelvin. So that would be the change for every 1 degree Kelvin. Notice it does not follow the 1 over T change because that's for an ideal gas. So for a solid substance, notice that the coefficient of volume expansion, again, does not remain constant. But in this case, it depends on the initial volume. And you can see that the initial volume increases with increasing temperature, but then also 1 over the volume is then multiplied by the change in the volume with respect to the temperature, keeping the pressure constant. Initially, you can see that the change in the volume is predominant, but then after a while, what happens is that the change in the volume with respect to the temperature begins to uh, outperform or at least catch up to the, to the effect that 1 over the volume has. So when the two are multiplied, you can see that the slope begins to become smaller and smaller and smaller. And so as the temperature increases, the coefficient of volume expansion doesn't change as much for a solid like copper, where for a gas will continue to increase at a large, in, a, in a large fashion because it's proportional to 1 over the temperature for the ideal gas. So hopefully that again will help, un help us understand the concept of the coefficient of volume expansion, how it relates to solids and liquids, and how it relates to gases in the case of an ideal gas, of course. And that's how it's done.